Okay, here we are at the uh, wet saw. To cut glass, you need three things. You need some type of wet saw, you need some type of diamond blade, and you need water, lots and lots of water. So as far as saws go, I have several of them in my studio, but uh, this one is really my favorite. And one of the biggest reasons is it's cheap. It's only about $99 from Home Depot, and it seems to last forever. And the name of it is a QEP, three-quarter horsepower, um, wet tile saw with a 7 inch blade. So this is the blade that comes with it. 7 inch blade with a 5 8 inch arbor there. So it's a QEP. But this blade lasts about, I don't know, 20 cuts. It's not worth it. So the next step up would be this rigid blade. This is a glass and tile blade by Rigid and um, 7 inch blade. And this one will last about two to four pattern bars. So if you're um, if you plan on just doing a few pattern bars, it's only about $39 somewhere in that ballpark. This is a really good deal just for a little bit of cutting. Um, but if you plan on doing a lot of cutting, then I recommend a better blade. And the money you save on the saw, I say spend on the blade. This one right here is uh, by North Jersey Diamond Blade. And I absolutely love it. It's it's definitely more expensive, but definitely worth the money. I've been using this, um, I think, for about the t past two months. I think I've probably cut uh, 20 pattern bars plus many other things, and it's still cutting great. And um, one of the great things about it is it's really strong, but really thin. So you you lose less glass with this blade. And you also get less chipping, so I really like that about it. It's a sintered blade. Something that helps it stay sharp, though, is a dressing stick. This is called a dressing stick. They come in different colors, but uh, they're used to clean the diamond wheel. If the diamond wheel gets clogged, it gets dull, and we don't want that. So, um, so we use this after about every maybe 20 cuts or so, just to clean out. Uh, this one I've used several times. This one I haven't used before. It's just a brand new one. So the most important thing I think out of all of this is water. Lots and lots and lots of fresh cold water. I know there's a reservoir below below the saw, but it's not enough water. And the water heats up after it's recirculated so many times. And I start getting chipping and a dull blade. So I bought this little lock Y kit, hooked it up to my garden hose. You can see it's clamped on. It's coming from the outside there. You just turn it on, position these little nozzles towards the blade, and you're ready to cut.